Hello, it's the end of November and uh, somebody asked for this a few years ago and it's something I did with my students or for my students in the class because I've had the mustache for a long time and there was no way I was going to shave it off just to grow it again in November. So to celebrate with uh, fellow teachers who actually did grow mustaches through November, I went with something different. And what I did was I decorated my mustache and I went online and I could not find a place that uh, would tell me how to put beads in my mustache, which is what I was thinking of. So I had to invent my own way. There's probably a better way to do it. There's probably a much better way to do it, but my method works. So step one, you need to find beads. I went out and found an assortment. I'm just going to do one today to show you the methodology. But you want a fairly large bore uh, hole in the bead just so that you can fit the mustache through and find a color that is pretty and something that you like. I have various beads. I actually would rotate them through the month to keep the awareness of uh, cancer in my classroom and overall because, you know, while I do this for fun, Cancer isn't. Been there, done that, drank the water. So, nice bead. That's the first thing you need. Second thing, believe it or not, is a piece of dental floss. Now, you're probably wondering why, and we'll get to that in a second, but a small length of dental floss is necessary. The last thing you need, I always call it candle wax, but it's not candle wax. It's the stuff you use to, whoops, there we go, to hold a candle in a candle holder. I went through a couple things, used plasticine and a few others, but this works the best. It stays uh, sticky just as you need it, because you need a way to keep the bead on the mustache once you get it. So when I first started this, I, like an idiot, tried to stuff hair through a bead. It was about half an hour of frustration, and by the end of it, I'm going, how the hell does anyone get hair through a bead? could not figure it out, went off, grumbled to myself, and started looking at the problem as a um, topological problem, something that needed solving, but I had to get out of the mindset that I was dealing with a bead and hair, and look at the problem from a slightly more vague view. And I realized the best way I could come up with was um, corresponding it to threading a needle. Now, there are people and can put a thread right through the needle, and then there's clumsy oafs like myself. If I want to thread a needle, I cannot for the life of me get that tiny little uh, thread to fit through the tiny little hole. But there's an invention for that. There's a needle threader that basically goes through the needle hole, the eye of the needle, and then grabs the thread on the far side and pulls it back through. So I said to myself, well, if that works for them, probably work for a mustache too. This is my needle threader. So to do it, you poke the uh, loop of dental floss through the bead, make it wide enough that you can get two fingers through, Boop. like so. Grab your mustache, pull the thread, and you have the bead on your mustache. Now, if I let go of this, the bead falls off. Okay, so first problem was solved. How to get the bead onto the mustache. Second problem took a different solution. That's where this stuff comes in. I needed a way to keep the bead on. I was looking at uh, tiny little clamps and all sorts of things, and most of it looked really difficult or would add a lot of weight, and then I'd look sad all the time. Didn't want to do that. So I got the stick'em. I tried a couple, like I said, before I settled on uh, candle adhesive. Candle adhesive washes fairly well out of the mustache afterwards. And all you do is you take a tiny little bead of it, 
once you have the bead of the, sorry, tiny little uh, piece of the candle wax, have it handy. And then you put the bead on and you put the candle adhesive at the bottom of the bead to make it adhere to the hairs, adhere to the hairs, whatever. And that way it stays on. It would stay on for the entire day. So again, to put it on, loop through. Oops, I'm doing it on the light side so you actually have a chance to see what the hell I'm doing. The boops are optional, it's just something I do. Keeps the little ones happy. And a tiny little bead of the stuff. And now I have a bead that is actually hanging from my mustache. You can go for symmetry or try for different beads on both sides. That drove my students crazy. They demanded that I have matching beads. You can go to your local bead shop and just paw through and find something that suits your personality and how you want to show. But this, if you've been growing a mustache all of November and you actually have a bit of a hanger that you can do this too, why not? It's a nice finish to the month. It's nice support for prostate cancer and cancer in general. And that is a good thing. I don't know what country you're in or if you're even watching this, but if you have a chance to donate to your local cancer society, please do. I'm Mike. I have silly answers for silly questions and rhetorical answers if you haven't asked any questions. Nobody asked. Well, one person asked me to do this video because I was telling my put beads in my mustache. Last joke for you. I was wearing beads in my mustache one time and a female student was talking to me but she could not take her eyes off the beads and as I was talking her head actually started bobbing watching the beads go up and down. I laughed and told her I know you've said this to other people but my eyes are up here. You have yourself a lovely day.